Uh, I would like to say that, uh, as David mentioned, growth is tremendous in the Indian in the country, and uh, we've seen virtually all segments growing. Uh, yes, newsprint, according to us, is on the decline. I would say even in the quoted paper segment, there seems to be a flattening or a decline. Very, very. We still uh, have not reached to the pre-COVID levels of volumes in quoted paper, also. But when we talk about other segments like writing printing segment and the packaging boards, yes, there is substantial growth. Writing printing, while the growth is muted at about 3% as David also mentioned, but yes, packaging is growing at upwards of 6 to 7%. Uh, we as an industry are also challenged to shift our product mix to ensure that we are relevant with the times. So what has happened is if you look at TNPL as a company per se, we are uh, one of India's largest uh, players in the writing printing segment. Uh, we have expanded into packaging boards. Currently about close to 33% of our volumes come out of packaging boards. Uh, what we have realized over there is that even in writing printing since the market is shrinking, but I would not say shrinking, it's on the, the increases uh, reduced considerably. The fact remains that we have a lot of uh, young population coming in, a lot of focus on literacy and education. That is where the growth is coming in from. Plus, I would say, you know, as volumes grow, customers become more and more discerning. They look for better qualities of paper, they look for better substrates, uh, even the machineries, the machineries have become more modern, they become uh, more demanding from the paper itself. So. As long as your quality of paper is better, you have a fairly good demand that comes into the future also. Yes, overall, if we see the gap between the so-called A-grade manufacturers of paper and the other uh, manufacturers, that is reduced, but we need to constantly up our quality to ensure that we are relevant on the current high-speed machines that are coming in and also for the good quality of paper demanded by the customers. Uh, we've taken a, another strategy is that we've started to slightly move our product mix away or find alternatives to pure writing and printing segments. Uh, they can be industrial applications, a lot of packaging is getting into, there's a lot of paper-based packaging. The challenge over there as well correctly mentioned is that there's a lot of use of plastics as a composite in that paper. I mean paper is normally bonded to a plastic or aluminium to ensure that you get the relevant properties to use paper for packaging or other applications. Now the entire industry has realized it, we are all moving towards it, but somehow you know the, the sweet spot where we talk about technology merging with economics is still not come in. You know uh, I agree that there are solutions to uh, making uh, paper as a barrier against moisture as a barrier against oil but economics and those are water-based coatings but economics have still not worked out and we need to understand that as a country we are not a very very uh, rich country i mean we look at a differential in price supposing the pe cost is about eight to ten rupees a uh, kg or eight thousand to ten thousand rupees a ton on paper whereas uh, going with the aqueous uh, coatings to get the same barrier properties we have to spend somewhere around 25,000 rupees. Customers are not willing to pay. One thing I must say that Indian audience is, or Indian population or the customer is very, very sharp and smart to move. I would say as soon as, you know, somebody has to be a forerunner or a front runner to ensure that they give a suitable product at a decent price point to shift and start the shift of the market from plastics or PE to water-based coatings. I would give it a maximum of a year, year and a half for this to be available at a reasonable price. As Indians, we are very innovative and I'm sure we should be able to give very, very uh, price suitable solutions where the shift, I would take a bet and say that shift in India will be faster than what it would be in the advanced countries, move away from PE to the water-based coatings. Uh, at TNPL, as uh, I mentioned, we are thinking of industrial applications of paper. 
uh, we have uh, we have plans of expansion into packaging boards further but in the interim uh, we plan to get into the fast growing tissue segment i agree it's very very small but there has been a substantial change in consumer behavior towards tissue the change has been further accelerated post covid after covid if we see a lot of tissue usage has increased not only in the horeca segment but at home also so we have uh, active in uh, plans to get into the tissue manufacturing and uh, we are sure good supply of tissue will also lead to a much much higher growth and the story would repeat something like what happened to the virgin packaging boards in the country it was a very small market which was growing at a very good uh, pace and now it has become a fairly considerably large market and it is still growing at a very good pace same will be the case with tissue that's my belief